Folks, I finally did it. I took the plunge. Cause you can see here, I've got my old AGM batteries, the 31 in Optimus. Got my old batteries here. I am not gonna use them anymore. And frankly, they just weren't working out for me. I took the jump, I went to lithium. So let me show you what I got here. And I know they're expensive. That is the main deal with lithium batteries is they are cost prohibitive. Even with the summer sale that was going on, about two grand to buy these batteries here. But I got these, these from Lithium Hub. These are ionic lithium batteries. I got 125 amp deep cycle slash cranking battery. So it can crank up to 250 horsepower. I 150 would be no problem. Then I have these 200 amp here for my trolling motor. The real problem with lithium batteries is the cost. So today we're gonna to talk about why I had to make the jump, the, the advantages I am looking to get out of it. Because frankly, my old, old batteries weren't cut anymore and I had to do something. I just mentioned I had to switch my batteries. And that's because I have a huge electrical power requirement on this boat. Follow me and I'll show you why. So up front here, on my trolling motor, you should be able to see it. I've got the, the Garmin LifeScope transducer. So the LifeScope system, the black box is in the rod car compartment, and you can see my 12 inch screen here. This system itself can pull seven to eight amps per hour. Now next to it, I've got the Humminbird Helix 7. That only pulls 0.8 amps, but if we go to the back of the boat here, and you look over here, you can see my Helix 8s. I mean, sorry, he Helix 10s. They pull 2.4 amps per hour, and I got two of them. Add in the power pole, the bilge pump, live well, etc. I pull a lot of power on this boat, especially in the summertime when you've got to run the live well and the recirculator to keep those fish alive when you're tournament fishing. So my older batteries just weren't, they just weren't cutting it. Obviously, I have a huge power consumption uh, on my boat here, and that is the problem with these Optima batteries, or, or really a lot of AGM and lead acid batteries for my particular setup here. Pulling a lot of power, and, and each one of these batteries has 75 amps on it. So I have two batteries together, and even though they're not that old, one's about a year, one's a year and a half, 150 total amps there. The issue is AGM and lead ba acid batteries, you only get about 50% of that capacity. You draw the battery below 50%, you're not gonna get the power out of it. So in reality, each one of these only has about 37 and a half. So 75 total amps for an entire day in the water with all the power that I'm drawing from my electronics is just not cutting it. Now, when we go over here and we go look at the lithium battery, there's a huge difference and a huge benefit with the lithium. And that's because this is a 125 amp battery. So less than 150 I have there were the two batteries on, on the Optimas, where you can get nearly 100% of all that capacity out of here. When you drain this battery down, you can drain it to near 0%, and when you recharge it, you won't have an issue and you won't damage the battery. Now I'm gonna be a little conservative with it. I don't wanna draw this below 80%, but, but that still gives me 100 amps from this 125 amp battery. That's 25 more than the two batteries I had before. So definitely a lot better, and it's gonna crank my big, big engine. Um, these Ionics here, this one is a dual purpose, so it's got 900 cranking amps. It will crank up to 250 horsepower of my 150. Won't be an issue at all. So I should be able to fish for a full day, a day and a half, maybe even two days. I'll be testing it out on just this one battery with all my electronics. One more thing I, I need it, I should probably mention about this 125 amp battery, right? It does cost like 850, 900 bucks. I forget what it was for the sale price, but those two opters right there, they cost $350 a piece. So that's $700 in batteries. They obviously didn't work for me. I'm gonna have to replace them. If I went with this a year ago, I, I would have been a lot better off. So um, when we talk about cost prohibitive, it is, but when you, when you put it in that perspective, it's not as bad as you think it is. Now let's move on to the trolling motor batteries. Now I got 100 amp ones here, but the thing is you don't necessarily have to get batteries that big and it comes back to the capacity. So it's kind of a sub benefit of the capacity here. These here are the Duralast cheap $100 batteries. They're 85 amps. They're, they're, they were rigged in series for my 24 volt, 80 pound first Ultrix. So I'm getting uh, 85 amps, right? Divide that by two for 50%, getting 42 and a half amps here. So you could actually go with a 40 amp lithium battery save a little bit of money and, and get and get the same capacity as you're getting with your, your current trolling motor batteries. I went with the 100 amps. The main reason is after a long day of fishing, especially in heavy wind, and I'm out there 10, 12 hours, maybe I'm pre-fishing, fishing a tournament, these will start to get low under those less than ideal conditions. And so I, I just went ahead and beefed it up so I, I make sure I'm good. The The plan is, right, I should be able to fish a couple days, hopefully with both these batteries I'm you know on each side here, that I could go out, fish all day, pull up to a campsite, don't have to recharge, be able to fish yeah, at least hopefully half the next day. So that is the plan, but it is an option. You could actually get away with a smaller battery and maintain the current capacity 
when you're looking at switching petroleum motor batteries. The second benefit and a real advantage of lithium batteries is the weight savings you get. So these trolling motor batteries here, they weigh 62 pounds a piece. Each one of these Optimas weigh 59.8 pounds a piece. That's a lot of weight in the back of the boat. Now we're gonna go back over to the lithium batteries here because they are a whole lot lighter. Remember those two Optimas, almost 60 pounds a piece, 120 pounds total. This one battery that's replacing those two, 34 pounds, super, super light. These two trolley motor batteries here that I'm using, they are 28 pounds a piece compared to the, what, what was it, 62 on the other one. So saving a lot of weight. I did the math, it's like 150 pounds lighter on the back end of my boat here. I don't know what it's gonna do for my speed. Some guys say they get faster, some don't really see a difference. I'll probably do an update video in a couple months to let you know, but should save a little bit of gas because there's a lot less weight in the back of the boat here. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Final real benefit and advantage I'm looking for in lithium batteries is how fast they actually charge. So your AGM lead acid batteries, there's a lot of resist them and you know they can take overnight to, to completely recharge them. AGM is a little bit faster than lead acid batteries, but these lithiums, there's a whole lot less resistance in here, so they can charge a lot faster. Some guys are saying they're able to fully charge their batteries if they're about 50% in two to three hours. So we'll see how fast it actually charges, but I'm looking forward to being able to charge faster. You know, you're getting ready to go fishing the next day, Maybe you forget to plug your, uh, your batteries in, you wake up in the middle of the night, you, you can plug them up real fast. They'll be charged and ready to go by the time you get on the water. Otherwise, you might be risking a little bit. But one thing with the charging is, you have to make sure you have the right charger. Now, lithium batteries, you need between 14.2 to 14.6 volts to get a complete 100% charge on this. And, that, and that's voltage coming from your, your charger. I have a Minn a min Kota Precision Charger. It does that at 14.4 on the AGM setting. So no issue there. Uh, they're supposed to send me one with the sale, but I'm already good to go. So if you switch over to lithium, talk to the manufacturer, see if your current battery charger will actually work. If not, you are gonna have to you know, get one that will actually charge lithium here. But the real benefit is being able to charge a whole lot faster. So let's bring it all together now. The last reason we talked about, I think I might've said final reason was the charging, how fast it can charge. There's one additional benefit I, I have to mention, that is the life cycle of these batteries. You can discharge and release, recharge these batteries two to 5,000 times. Traditional batteries, you're looking at three to 500. So they're gonna last a whole lot longer. That's why this battery has an eight year warranty. So some other manufacturers out there have five year warranties. I even saw one for a 12 year warranty. So the companies are gonna stand behind them. They, they should last a long time, right? So you're not replacing batteries every few years. So even though they're cost prohibitive, you know, in the long run, they can actually end up saving you money. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. But again, the, the, the main reason why I had to switch over was because my, my power consumption, especially with that life scope, which is known as a battery killer, my, my older batteries just couldn't keep up. So those are the reasons why I switched over to lithium. I know it's expensive, but it's, it, I think it's gonna be worth it. I'll do an update video probably here in a few months, letting you know how I actually feel about them, how they are turning out. But uh, that's the reason. So I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go out there and fish. Remember, a lunker's one cast away.